So, yeah. So, anyway, uh, my name is Andy Snowden, and this show is all about music from stage and screen and anything you might have seen on your television box. Today is the 5th of November. Remember, remember. And if you're not going to a bonfire night tonight and you're trying to think of something you want to do, grab yourself a pen, I'll tell you. What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. 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 Right, so here we go again. Uh, What's the buzz? What's going on around town? What can I go and see tonight, Andrew, I hear you say? Well, I've got two things for you to go and see, both running at Theatre Cluid, and they are there until next Saturday, the 12th of November. And uh, they've got, as I say, not just one, but two terrific pieces of work that, quite frankly, can't be missed. In the main house, the Anthony Hopkins Theatre, Rent continues to uh, pack them in and this awesome 20th anniversary production of this fantastic rock opera. I saw it last week and I've basically been telling anybody with a pulse to go and see it. Uh, But this week in the uh, studio theatre, the Emily Williams Theatre, adjacent to the main house, there is a brilliant new play called Love, Lies and Taxidermy. It tells the tale of young love and the problems associated with their families. It's a one-act comedy uh, brilliantly played by just a cast of three, all of which never ever leave the performing area throughout the whole piece. Uh, I would suggest to anyone or knows of any young wannabe actor who, uh, who, who wants to get into the business, they should really go and see this work because it highlights brilliantly how simple storytelling without the use of lavish sets or props can be done so effectively. And the three performers, uh, Andy Rush, uh, Richard Corgan and Remy Beasley, uh, give a masterclass in storytelling and character playing. Uh, They switch from one character to the next with such ease and also narrating the piece. It's pacey, wordy and the audience never has a chance to draw breath before the next hilarious situation is in front of them. Uh, Written by Alan Harris and directed by George Perrin, I caught the show last Thursday and at the after show party I grabbed a word with the only lady in the play the quite brilliant Remy Beasley. You could literally do this play anywhere. You can uh, yeah we've been going around as part of the Payne's Plough roundabout uh, season and essentially the uh, Payne's Plough are the, a national touring company and they have built a theatre uh, which they started about three years ago it's a 160 seater essentially pop up theatre it's very um, it, it, you think it looks like a big tent from the outside but you walk in it's like the TARDIS and it's you know really high tech with lights everywhere and all kinds of stuff um, so we've been going around with that so we've been taking it to different towns around the country right. and taking theatre to places that don't necessarily have a theatrical community which has been brilliant we've been going to places like Barnsley we've been Stoke-on-Trent oh, where have we been? so you're not necessarily Everyone. taking it into a theatre you take no, theatre we, we you? take our own theatre and the, the rule is apparently I don't know if they do it like this but you can put it up with two people and a what you call an Allen key and an Allen key. An Allen key? Yeah, apparently. I mean, I don't think you'd want to, but that is the rule of it. OK. Um, it's massive. But So we've been taking that round, but the, the, for the Welsh leg of the tour, we're actually going into theatres. So we're in the studio at Theatre Cloyds at the moment, and we're going into the uh, studio in the Sherman as well. God love us. The amount of rehearsal mm. to get something that slick. Yeah. I mean, did it take a while to get it up to pace? Oh, more than a while. It, it, the mad thing was, we the, the roundabout season, Payne's Play roundabout season, involves three actors doing three plays. So we rehearsed not only this play, but two other plays. All right. In We had seven weeks to get them all up and running. Um, so it was mad because the plays, especially one of the other play we did as well, were very intricate, like this one with the narration and then into scene and the turns in and out. Mm. Um Oh yeah, it was a lot of work, and I'd never done repertory theatre before, um, so that was yeah. a little. Ch- you know, you always find it a bit mad when people say, "How do you learn your lines?" and you think, "Oh, shut up." Yeah. But actually, I don't know how we did. No. I honestly, it was a yeah. Well, like we did, we just worked really hard. Is what yeah. we did. It was the only way to get them in there. But um, yeah, it took loads of time, and but we had a brilliant director, George Perrin. He's very classy uh, director with a good taste, and I trust him implicitly. And yeah. um, the fact that we're just doing it on a bare floor, no problem just three actors telling story yeah. I think it shows I like it it shows the power of storytelling doesn't it and yeah. actually the power, oh, yeah, definitely. Of, the power of imagination yeah. you don't need the kitchen sink to be brought on to, for no. people to know what you're talking about you know, you know exactly what's going on so are all three sort of 
plays like this are they all sort of storytelling the two of them were like this and one the Love Lies and Taxidermy in a play we, would, we were doing called um, I Got Superpowers for My Birthday which is a kids play mm-hmm. um, of very much of the same kind of lots of uh, light and sound and snapping in and out of narration into scene and then we did another play called Growth by a writer called Luke Norris uh, which is much more they were duologue scenes just right. uh, intermittent duologue scenes so yeah it's been really different but we're only sadly only doing taxidermy here for the Welsh leg so we've got two other plays in our brains right. that are not getting used anymore um, it's nice to let them go for a second, actually, to have a little rest. But, yep. um, yeah, we're thoroughly enjoying bringing taxidermy to, to my world. I yep. think everyone really enjoyed it tonight. It was lovely. I definitely do. I love okay. that interaction, especially in that room yeah. there. Because the... Well, I mean, you're literally banging into people yeah. as you talk, walking around, and... And the audience have to sort of shift themselves out of the way. And you wonder if people are going to take to it, because I think a lot of the time people want to come to the theatre and they want to turn off, and actually we ask a lot of the audience, we we need them to really be engaged, and they're quite exposed, you know, sat there, you know, with us looking at you dead in the eye. Um, It's quite a different theatrical experience, I I think. Well, 10 out of 10, I give it. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, mega. Thank you ever so much. When we walked in Merford's hill in the moonlight long ago when the mountain tracks frozen and the crests were white as snow. I haven't gone mad. <laughs> it's set in Merthyr Tidville, and if there's any excuse for me to play uh, when we walk to Merthyr Tidville by Max Boyce, then here it is, right? <laughs> I'm not going to get too many opportunities, so I'm grabbing it with both hands. <laughs> so there you go. This is Love Lies and Taxidermy, and it runs, as I say, up until the 12th of November uh, in Theatre Cluid. Tickets are 18 and 11 of your English pounds. And and uh, the box office number for Theatre Cluid is 01352 701 521. That's 01352 701 521. Or indeed, you can book online at theatrecluid.com. Of course you can. And also, as I say, Rent is running until the 12th of November as well. Both shows have only got a week left. And uh, Theatre Cluid is really, really going from strength to strength. It is absolutely right up there. Possibly the best theatre in Wales and seriously one of the best theatres in the whole of the United Kingdom at this present time. There you go. Get yourself up to Theatre Cluid. Support your theatre, girls and boys. It won't be there forever if you don't.